Texas Constitution of 1876, it was stated, the legislature shall, as soon as practicable, establish, organize, and provide for the maintenance, support, and direction of a university of the first class to be located by a vote of the people of this state and styled the University of Texas. These were the words which first promised a great state its greatest institution of learning. But there have been many years between the words that were and the university that is. Those years have seen the only building grow into the main building. Thousands of students and professors come and go. In this film, we recall some of those past times and people for you. But we owe you more than nostalgia. You deserve to know the University of Texas as it exists today, as it can become tomorrow one of the most modern and extensive educational plants in the United States. Because actually this isn't just a university or even the university. If you are a Texan in residence, memory or preference, this is your university. Its future policies were most recently stated at the inauguration of the university's president, Dr. Logan Wilson. Sworn in with fitting ceremony before a record crowd, Dr. Wilson made noteworthy statements. On the one hand, we cannot ignore opportunities for a wider service without seriously limiting our usefulness to the state and nation. On the other hand, my own view is that the welfare of our students and residents should remain our dominant concern. So to the students themselves go the first benefits of your university. Who are these students? Like all Texas products, they're a diverse group, but carefully blended. Through the Testing and Guidance Bureau, each incoming student is given a battery of tests. How can one bureau assist thousands of students? The answer is equipment, like this scoring machine. But once the scorer has ground out its objective answers, a well-trained counselor takes over. Here, counselor and student check a profile of interest. How will the educational journey go from here? Orientation at Texas gives every newcomer encouraging personal contact with deans, professors, and other students. Now the newcomer may ask, should I have gone to a smaller school? Here the physical plant and faculty of your university speak for themselves. In Texas, the oil state, many students turn to petroleum engineering, a new science calling for new skills. Brilliant men often recruited from the oil industry make up the teaching staff. Languages, too, are updated. In Bats Hall, linguistic instruction research has made your university world famous. On cue, staff members record oral practice material to be piped into special drill rooms. Thus, a central control room gives out homework in seven different languages. A student checks his progress. After the playback, he may grin or groan, but he's had thorough teaching. Equally modern is the second of three sister buildings, Mazes Hall, home of philosophy and psychology. And in Benedict Hall, third of the trio, we find latest teaching devices for mathematics and astronomy. Housing a complete school is the journalism building, with offices, classrooms, and working equipment for campus publications. Works exactly like a real newspaper, say visiting journalists, as a faculty member gives out story assignments. The music building strikes a new note, too, with its paneled recital hall, world-renowned for fine acoustics, its soundproof rehearsal hall, an entire floor of practice rooms. In the new experimental science building, bacteriology, physiology, biochemistry, 
part of organic chemistry and certain fields of zoology find abundant space. Here, research and teaching are carried on with close supervision at all levels of training. For the pharmaceutical sciences, an outstanding building has been designed for small group instruction. This air-cooled library is an excellent example of a departmental reference room, one of 25 circulating library units on the main campus. With the help of scientifically compiled index cards, students find reading material on every conceivable subject. Here are the main library stacks, open to graduate students, faculty, and staff. Hundreds of shelves hold 1,090,000 volumes, all available at your university. Reading connoisseurs ask first to see the Rare Books Collection, one of several special libraries with their own tasteful settings. Here is a perfect atmosphere for seminar discussions of literary treasures. In sickness or in health, your university is at your side. In its health center, all students entering the university have complete physical checkups, including thorough chest x-rays. Besides x-ray and physiotherapy departments, the health center houses a clinical laboratory, pharmacy, clinic and outpatient department, and a suite for major surgery in any type of emergency. 84 beds stand ready. The staff includes 18 nurses, six full-time doctors and 12 consultants. Registered students are allowed 10 days hospitalization each semester and 10 days each summer session. Many Texas attorneys and nationally famous barristers once knew this as the law building. Now a jackrabbit hop across the 40 acres brings us to the law school's new Towns Hall and priceless Tarleton Library. The building's three floors include an auditorium with courtroom facilities, beautiful lounges, private offices for visiting attorneys, libraries, and many classrooms. During a three-day dedication ceremony, the Chief Justice of the Texas Supreme Court proclaimed the school best in the Southwest. 